So far on the WRC, we have visited Sweden, Mexico, Jordan. Now it's time for Rally Turkey and a brand new location. The WRC is heading to Istanbul. Rally Turkey shifts north from the tourist resort of Kema to a base within a suburb of Istanbul. The event will straddle two continents as the ceremonial start takes place on the European side of Istanbul, with the stages and service park hosted on the Asian side. It's all change for the drivers as they prepare to tackle stages new to everyone. This stage is over here near Istanbul. It's completely different compared to Kemer, where we used to be last time two years ago. Um, in Gemer, the stages were mainly quite uh, quite twisty and very technical, but the, it, this is the opposite. This is very, very quick rally. It's some places like Finland fast and uh, quite wide road as well. Uh, some places very wide. Well, for sure, it's completely different than in Kemer, where we were last time. It's very, very fast here, unbelievable fast stages, but unfortunately they are in very bad conditions as well. I think it's been raining so heavily in the last few weeks and they just quickly, uh, you know, uh, fix the roads, but they put, like, they just fix it with massive rocks, so uh, it's going to be very, very rough. So talk to me about the Drivers' Championship then, because you have slipped a little down the standings, but of course Sebastian Loeb has made his way a little bit further up. The gap is not too big at the moment, but you can't let that grow. No, that, that's true. I mean, I made a silly mistake in short and, and uh, Sebastian got away straight away. I mean, uh, okay, he made mistakes last year, but I can't count on that. And he's now 30 points away, so uh, I have to start winning those rallies if I want to fight for the title. So you and Yamo then, it's your 100th rally together. Is it? <laughs> they didn't have a clue. Turkey is a predominantly gravel event with a 15% inclusion of tarmac. How does this affect the cars and tyres for this weekend? Tim Jackson, Yari Matti's engineer, talks us through the Turkey setup. It's very difficult because you're using a car that's set up for a completely different surface. Um, in this rally particularly, um, it's not like Cyprus where you knew that the whole stage uh, loop was going to be on the, the tarmac, so you can make quite a lot more changes to the car. Whereas here we're going straight from one surface to the other. Um, so for sure the, the setup on the tarmac will be a bit of a compromise um, and we've just got to drive and, and get through it and hope that we can you know, do our best on the gravel where the base of the setup will be tuned for. Now we've spoken to Miko and he said he doesn't feel any pressure to bring home a great result but he knows for his championship title hopes that he really has to take a win here. Anything's possible of course, what do you think? Yeah, I think anything's possible. I mean, uh, I have no doubts about Miko as well. I mean, if you look last year, he hadn't even won a rally until the seventh event in the championship and he still only ended up losing by one point. Yeah, it's not the position that we want to be in, that he wants to be in, because you know we really felt we, we could and we have to be strong on, uh, on the gravel events. But um, we're certainly not panicking yet, there's a long way to go. New events do tend to suit him and there's probably no reason why that should be the case. Um, and I think if it gets as rough as what we predicted will, then hopefully then uh, that's where we will be strong as a, as a team. The team attend happy hour with a little bit of Turkish flavour. But for the co-drivers, it's time to make sure their notes are in working order for the days ahead. New stages mean brand new notes. And it's a big job. We started at 7 o'clock in the morning and now it's 9.30 in the evening and still, I would say, about two hours to go. We've seen you and Mikko really strong when we come to new events on the championship. And Mikko has said it's down to, obviously, the pace notes and how you work well together making good pace notes for new events. But I guess that puts a bit of pressure on you because everyone is thinking, right, they're favourites now that it's a brand new event. I think we created that pressure ourselves in Jordan, so it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't affect too much anymore. But yeah, that's true. We, we have a pretty good record on the new, new events. I don't know if it's, are we any better to do base notes? <laughs> but maybe we have a, quite a lot of information in base notes. And, when we really get it right, it's quite easy to trust and have the confidence even on a road you've never ever driven like a rally speed before. Tom, it's the 
Thursday morning, we've come up to remote shakedown service. Explain to me what's going on here. Why is it remote this morning? Well, the, um, the stage for shakedown here in Turkey is uh, around 30 kilometer road section from the service park. And uh, we need to complete four runs of that, uh, of that shakedown. And normally we service between each run. So returning to service park every time is a bit time consuming. So we get out of beds a bit earlier and come up here with a few bits and bobs and service by the side of the road. So what kind of things are being changed on the car this morning, if any? Well, um, in the Ford camp, the, the main thing we do at Shakedown is, uh, is check our clutches. I mean, the design of our car is uh, with an external clutch that's very small and lightweight, and uh, we need to check each one works correctly before the start of the rally. So that's what we're main aim here this morning. Rally Turkey marks the 100th WRC event for Miko and Yamo as a crew. So with so many hours spent together over the years, how well do these boys know each other? Miko. Oh my God. You sit next to Yamo all the time, but do you know the most important date on Yamo's calendar, his birthday? Uh, 3rd of January. And the year? 55. <laughs> <laughs> and Yamo, the most important date on Miko's calendar? Last of July, 80. Is he right? Yeah. Let's have a hug, guys. Come on. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Excellent. With Shakedown complete, it's time to head to the centre of Istanbul for the ceremonial start. And the WRC drivers bypass the rush hour traffic and opt for a boat to deliver them safely to the start ramp. In light of the tactics used at the previous event in Rally Jordan to influence road position, we talked to Gerard Quinn to get the team's stance on the use of tactics. You know, it's abundantly clear that, you know, integrity and sportsmanship is important to us. And since then we've um, been proactive in trying to get clarity and consistency in the story that's told to the public and to the fans. And we have um, been working quite hard behind the scenes to make sure that the regulations ensure a level playing field. And we believe the statement that the FIA has put out today uh, will bring that about. And, um, you know, the regulations are there. They were probably used to an unacceptable level. Uh, Ford is looking to push now to make sure that that doesn't happen again. Hundreds of fans get the chance to see the best rally drivers in the world at the ceremonial start and even get the odd autograph or two. I mean, rally does need to show like this more and more, so uh, this is quite a good, good example of how it should be. With so much celebration going on, it's easy to forget that the hard work gets underway tomorrow. Three days of rallying lie ahead. The challenge of the Turkish stages beckon. Can the boys at the Blue Oval achieve their dreams of victory?